Well, uh, this is interesting. Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, we all know about the divisive stuff that uh, this fool has been peddling, Rachel Zegler. And it has been turning a lot of people off of the Snow White uh, movie. And uh, there are defenders saying that it's all misinformation, how it's all out of context, kind of like what she said in her video that took place a year before all of this stuff even happened. But yeah, uh, it may end up being delayed because Rachel can't shut her mouth and neither can Gal Gadot. Remember, folks, it's not just Rachel Ziegler. It's also Gal Gadot, but this is more about Rachel Ziegler here. Disney's Divisive Snow White remake hasn't been canceled, but it may end up being delayed. So, Disney's upcoming live-action remake has split opinions, but despite reports it's been scrapped, we can confirm that's not the case. However, we don't know, or we don't actually know when it will be released. So, yeah, let's get into this. If you use social media, there's a very good chance you've recently seen claims that Disney's live-action ver version of Snow White has been scrapped. Unrelated comments from lead star Rachel Zegler has already been manipulated to create more ill feeling towards the movie, and a misinformation campaign appears to be part of that. Um, if that's happening, I haven't seen it. You see, people have taken her words that she herself has said in interviews with Gal Gadot, because Gal Gadot also ran her dumbass mouth off on this, um, where she has disparaged the original. She's calling the prince a stalker. They're not going to be even saved by, or she's not even going to be saved by the prince because, according to Gal Gadot, she don't need no man. This is bullshit. They're saying this is misinformation. Are they talking about that video that was brought up by the media to try to help her uh, respond to the backlash when it was a year prior? Apparently, she led a hate campaign against somebody else, not just a... Uh, or not just um, Gina Carano, but from what I understand, there was a thing between her and Jeremy Renner that she uh, went at. So, yeah. I'll have to look into that. But, yeah, there's no misinformation campaign. People are using her words to show that this woman is indeed a piece of shit. So it all started when a parody site, The Mousetrap News, posted a story claiming the studio had pulled the plug on the controversial remake. Thank God I don't listen to all that kind of news. Unaware that it was meant in jest, thousands of people have flocked to X and TikTok to declare victory in their war against Ur against Ur Snow White. And despite what you may have seen, Snow White has not been canceled by Disney. Well... Um, I'm not looking for it to be canceled. I don't want it canceled. I mean, yes, that would make sure that they lose a lot more money, but I actually want them to lose the money in the box office. I do actually want them to uh, have a chance so that people can understandably see it and just see how bad it is. And then maybe, just maybe, they might understand that the movie does or should never have been made. That this was indeed a waste of money. While the movie has definitely divided opinions, there's, sim or there's simply no way the studio is going to scrap a movie they spent hundreds of millions of dollars on because of social media backlash. However, in former Hollywood reporter, editor Matt Baloney's uh, latest Puck newsletter, he suggests the, the movie, currently scheduled for March 2020 or March 22, 2024 release, will almost certainly move off that date. Baloney expects a lot of changes to Disney's 2024 slate as a result of the ongoing writer or WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes. And if Deadpool 3 moves from its current May, 20, or May 3rd, 2024 slot, that could be where Snow White ultimately lands. I hope it's put up against a major other film. So that people can just say, you know what, fuck this shit. 
we're not even going to the theaters to watch it. Honestly, I don't think people should go to the theaters to watch this movie because it's not going to be Snow White. It's Snow White in name only. The character whose name literally meant skin as white as snow is not skin as white as snow. I'm sorry, folks, if that is uncomfortable to point out to many of you, but Rachel Ziegler's skin is not pale. She has a darker skin tone. So it makes no sense. Also, Gal Gadot hasn't helped things either with her. She's not going to be saved by the prince peddling. It's stupid to be pushing that shit. So, given the recent negative reactions to this latest take on the iconic fairy tale, there's a good chance Disney is planning reshoots. Either way, the recent news that Dune Part 2 has shifted from November 3rd to March 15th could also be a major contributing factor. Yeah, because people are going to want to watch Dune 2. They should, or a lot of people are pissed off about Dune 2 because, uh, well, they actually gave in to the uh, you need to strike bullshit instead of uh, supporting the film's release. Well, actually, um, they even said we booked all these frickin' uh, IMAXs, we got exclu exclusivity for the IMAX release, and yet, we're, so we're not gonna, re or we're not gonna delay, but then they finally gave into it, which is kind of stupid. Because it's only showing that we are winning instead of them. Anyway, uh... Ultimately, Disney may have misjudged their approach to this property when it came to modernizing the story. We, or while there are problematic elements which needed to be changed, similar to The Little Mermaid, such as the drastic reinvention definitely risks alienating longtime fans. Oh yeah, The Little Mermaid, that hundred million dollar flop. Yeah. Um, nobody thought that was a good idea. Except for all the SJWs who believe that skin color needs to be a judging factor now. Very little has been revealed about director Mark Webb's The Amazing Spider-Man. Snow White plans. Though we know the screenplay was written by Barbie director Greta Gerwig and playwright Aaron Cressida Wilson. We can confirm that this movie is still being released. We're just not 100% sure when. And, well, that's the thing. This movie does deserve to, honestly, be scrapped. If they were to scrap it, I really wouldn't care, but I would actually like to see just how badly it fails in the box office. Disney is losing money. They've already lost well over a billion dollars this month, or this year, in movie bombs alone. I believe, still, as of current, that Guardians of the Galaxy was the only movie to make them any money. Because I do not think that uh, Barbie was a Disney movie. I actually believe that was a Sony movie. So, yeah. Um, Disney, wake up before you lose even more money. Anyway, folks, I just wanted to give you some news. Uh... I got my Sharknado 5 movie review coming out tonight at 8. Make sure you all uh, tune in for that one. It's going to be a 30-minute live stream. Going to be... Oh, my God. Wow. But anyway, uh, if you like my video feel or channel, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, share. All that jazz. Uh, my links to all my socials will be down in the description of this video. So make sure you, uh, if you want to follow me there, make sure you follow me there. Also, make sure you leave a comment. I like to hear from you guys what you guys like to say. So I will see you all then. This has been Orange Hat Reviews. Have a wonderful day and always remember, stay humble.